Hey everybody, it's the Crazy Fat Girl Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, we're going to be reacting to the new Last of Us 2, the release date trailer, and I'm just so excited because, oh, I just, I've been waiting for this for so long, and just finally it is here. Literally, I woke up this morning and I opened my phone and I didn't see any YouTube notifications for it, but on Instagram, there was like the naughty dog symbol and it was like saying like the last of us, blah blah blah. And I even before I read, I just quickly like swiped it all off my phone. I was like, no, I'm not watching this now because it was like seven in the morning and I had to leave for uni, obviously. So I was like, I'll watch it when I get home. So finally, after like a long day of finishing assignments, which I finally literally finished, thank God. Now I can watch this trailer and I'm so, so excited! Unfortunately, I didn't get to react to the big trailer that came out last year for The Last of Us at E3. Um, because I lost the footage, I did react to it, but I lost the footage and I was so mad because I was so excited for that game and I was like watching the whole like live show happening and I was like, oh my god, I'm missing like this footage, oh my god! Thankfully, I can react to this now, so... I'm so excited, so let's just go straight into this and watch this because I'm just so damn excited. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, movies, and TV shows. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. <sighs> Wait, is this subs? Okay. Ooh! Johnson's in it! Yeah! Oh, I love that girl. And also, Tro. Alright. You all know the drill. Uh, I was just gonna quickly say, also, Troy Baker's at this, so that's also very exciting. Oh! That looks like a very nice cabin. Oh! What happened? Who's Dino? I'm trying to remember, is it someone from. Uh, wow! I thought it was Dolphins. I got. I'm freaking out. Gonna calm down. What you walking into? What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. Oh, ho, I missed this game. I don't care. Oh. Ow. You can't stop this. Oh yes, shake him. Oh my god, this is- oh. What's the date? <gasps> February? What? Oh my God! <gasps> no! Wait a second! Hold on! <laughs> no! 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 This happens every time. Kingdom Hearts did the same thing to me. No! Oh, Lord, help me! No, because <laughs> I start. University again in March on the 4th. I can't finish the game in like less than like two weeks. Well, maybe I could if I sit and like actually like just do nothing but play video game. 
Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh but it's so close. Ew. Yeah. I cannot wait. Oh. oh. I can't even begin to describe how much I love the first Last of Us. I mean, this game changed so much. And I think it changed a lot of not only in the gaming industry it changed a lot of things but for me as like because this was one of the very first games that really kind of like signified how important story is in in video gaming and not only just in like um like a per like post apocalyptic um, times but in all sorts of other games and I've talked about this before in several other videos that I've done that a story can't always just be about violence it can't always just be about um, wanting to kill a person there always has to be some death to a story and The Last of Us changed my like idea of storytelling when it came out and I was just like Wow, <laughs> Neil Druckmann is incredible at what he does, but also in the Uncharted series and just I've loved his work like every time because he's just amazing. But just, but just the storytelling in general in The Last of Us was just incredible and just incredibly moving. Like I know that there still is a lot of people who haven't played the game so I'm not going to spoil it but if you know what I'm talking about, the whole beginning of The Last of Us is just a, an a roller coaster of emotions because it sets the expectations of the rest of the game and also like the like how quickly things can happen and how quickly things can change and you see that throughout the rest of the game and it's just incredible and it's just it's so raw and it's just it's just like that. It's kind of that reminder that we're all human and just like we're all feeling all sorts of emotions and we're all on this sort of like crazy journey and I don't know, that just really changed a lot for me, that game. Um, not only introducing me to Troy Baker, Ashley Johnson, and a lot of other voice actors that I've fallen in love with, but just that whole story changed everything for me. And it came at a time that I kind of think I really needed it as well. Um, but it just, it's, oh, I can't stop talking about it because it's just such an incredible game. And speaking of incredible games, this looks incredible. Like the graphics look amazing and there were like new zombies in this and I cannot wait to like see what they are, etc. And just the graphics in general. And, oh! And there has been speculation that this story is going to be about how Ellie kind of goes on this journey to look for her mum. And obviously it's been... It's been said everywhere that obviously the new cast includes Laura Bailey. I do remember having a conversation with oh, like obviously all my friends who are like incredibly in love with this game and have said that this game could possibly follow that storyline of Ellie trying to look for her mum and you know delving into that reason of why she left. So I think it's very interesting to see what happened. And I think another thing I'm just excited about this game is just that relationship and bond between Ellie and Joel because obviously we saw in The Last of Us that like these two strangers could become so close and yes they aren't father and daughter like they said in the game itself but they still have that close connection to one another and just they act like father and daughter at many times during the game but yeah, it's just amazing acting and just storytelling and just, oh, cannot wait for this sequel. Just, it looks amazing and just so beautiful and I cannot wait to play it when it comes out. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited. I can't even describe it. Like, this is how I felt, like, about Kingdom Hearts. Well, Kingdom Hearts is a different level because I've loved that game since I was a child, but, oh, I can't wait for this game. Oh, it's so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the new trailer for The Last of Us and the release date. Oh my god, we finally have it! Just this game looks incredible and I cannot wait to like get my hands on it because it's just, oh, it looks so amazing and I cannot wait to play it. It just, oh, I'm so excited. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Chris Fangle out. Woo!